Hey everybody, Ray Pastor here, and today we're gonna talk about how the Apple Watch interprets different metrics when you're not feeling well, when you're sick. Unfortunately for me, I was sick not too long ago. Um, not a fun few days. I came down with a cold, not COVID, confirmed by COVID test, not a cold. It went through my family. I actually got it when my five-year-old sneezed in my face, literally in my face. I have got sick the following day, and then two, three, four days later, had a common cold. You know, the whole nine yards of what a common cold gives you. So let's talk about the metrics that I observed on my Apple Watch during that time. And the first one we're gonna start out with is resting heart rate, because your heart rate is what you're gonna, what's gonna change, right? That's what you're gonna see. Like, you know, obviously I might not, my steps will be a little lower and some other metrics like that might not be as high because I'm just not doing as much because I'm not feeling well. But the internal metrics that you're looking at are your heart rate stats. The first one is resting heart rate. So let me talk about my experience and show you what my heart rate is. Obviously you see a big jump up on the screen, but let's, let's get to before that. So Friday, which is low, my average resting heart rate's in the 50s. So it was in the 50s that day, completely normal. That's the day that my son sneezed in my face that morning. Saturday, I wake up to a little bit of a scratchy throat. Little bit of a scratchy throat. Um, throughout the day Saturday, especially into Saturday evening, my throat was on fire and I was starting to get very stuffy. So that's Saturday evening. We can see Saturday. My resting heart rate is in the mid 60s. So my resting heart rate is almost increased like about five to 10 beats more than it normally is. That's throughout the day Saturday. Now I did not, I don't wear my Apple Watch when I sleep, um, which would cause my heart rate to be even be a little lower than mid 50s, um, closer to like 48 to 50. So we see what it was in the day. So my cold really progressed that evening and I probably took my Apple Watch off around like nine or 10 right before bed. So you can see that in that time it had went up in the mid 60s. Next day, so that night, sore throat, sore throat, sore throat. Wake up the next day, put my Apple Watch on. I obviously did not feel well, but look how high my resting heart rate was that day. Almost 20 points more than average. 20 points more. That day I, I ran a low grade fever, um, very low grade, like, you know, high 98s or low 99s, which technically is not considered a fever, but when my normal's like 97.1, you know, 99.3 is, is a fever for me. So I was 20 beats higher. I mean, look at my resting heart rate that day. Next day, Monday, woke up, still felt crummy, but felt a little better, took some meds. Look how low my heart rate was. That was the point. The, the, the high point of my cold was Sunday. From Monday on, it was progressively better, better, better. But my heart rate was already down back to normal. Amazing that just resting heart rate alone could tell me that something was off. Something was going on. Obviously, I knew. But it's interesting to see how my internal body responds to this kind of stimuli. All right. But that's not it. There's another screen, which is an important variable that Apple provides to you, and that's your heart rate variability. Apple takes your heart rate variability at random times throughout the day when your body's at rest, or you can use the Breathe app for a forced HRV reading. All right, so let's take a look at my HRV. You can see that my average HRV is typically above the 50 mark. And, and you don't really pay attention to the numbers here because everyone's is different. It's more about the trend for heart rate variability. So if yours is much lower or much higher than mine, don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to your trends. So let's take a look what happened. Remember, I told you, Friday, was the day that my son sneezed in my face. My, my HRV is pretty high that day. It's, it's pretty average, pretty high. Next day, Saturday, that's when I was, you know, starting to feel a little blue. My, my sore throat was scratchy and things just weren't really going too well that day, especially by that evening. Sunday, hands down, felt terrible. Nothing good was happening Saturday. I mean, Sunday. And at, you can see that from... The score right there look how low now the inver hrv and resting heart rate usually are inverse so a bad hrv is low good hrv is high so you can see how low 
So in addition to resting heart rate, my heart rate variability was also poor that day, much poor. And then Monday, you can see how much it increases and then goes back to average the rest of the week. Kind of crazy that my Apple Watch with these two metrics was able to pick up that my body, something was off and that, yeah, I mean, I was sick. I knew something was off, but it's really interesting to see how it interprets that. And this will do this when you have flus, when you have colds, really anything. Um, the watch is a great, great way of determining how your body handles these kind of stressful, you know, moments when you're not feeling well. So it was really fascinating. It was neat to see that the Apple Watch did pick up on both my resting heart rate and my HRV. Um, it didn't pick them up earlier than I would have predicted because, you know, Saturday when it started showing signs, I was I was feeling terrible. I knew something was coming. And Sunday I felt awful. So um, I knew that I was sick. Now, the interesting thing, though, is that Monday I'm back to normal here and I still felt kind of crummy. So that was a good indication, though, that, hey, you're on the you're on the rebound right now. You're past the hump of the worst part of this. And now you're on the mend. I, I don't know if I knew necessarily I was on the mend yet because I still felt pretty crummy had a really stuffy nose at that point. But my body, my my heart was telling me, hey, we we're back to normal heart hearts back to normal. So that's really fascinating, really interesting to see. Um, yeah, and it was pretty cool. So yeah, when you're sick, let me know results that you found, you know, in the comments to, uh, you know, what, how, how much your resting heart rate or heart rate variability would have changed when you actually weren't feeling well. I'm curious to see, curious to hear how it interpreted others. Like even things like with the COVID shot or different kinds of illnesses, it's really fascinating to see how your watch reacts before, during, and after, you know, that time period. So let me know if you've had any experiences like this. I'm really curious to hear and hope you have a good day. Later all.